Hi everyone, this is Deniz, and in this video I will show you how to implement Naive Bias with RapidMiner. As always, we've already seen the theory behind Naive Bias, but now we will see how to implement that with RapidMiner. But in short, what Naive Bias is, that uh, it is a supervised classification algorithm, and it's a probabilistic classification algorithm, which means that it also assigns the probability of belonging to a class on top of just assigning data items to classes. So let's go ahead and check RapidMiner. As always, I will require data. And I'm going to use a read CSV to load a CSV file from my um, file system. I'll use the iris data again. You might remember that the iris data, when you load it from CSV, it doesn't come with, a, with an assigned label. So we need to set the role, an additional step. We need to set the role of the um, one particular attribute here, which is the species. So we would like to say, we would, we would like to tell RapidMiner that the column species contains our label so that we can provide that as input, labeled input to our machine learning algorithms. And the algorithm that I'm going to use now is, um, well, now you bias. So basically that's it, but we already know that this is not the right way to, to apply the model. So what we need to do is to split our, uh, our data into training and test. So I'm going to use split data for that this time. I need to, uh, well, use the partitions, create the partitions here. And I will just create two partitions. One is 0 0.7, so 70% is going to be my test, uh, my training set. And the 30% is going to be my test set. I'll just make sure, yes, so the partitions are, are here, the definitions are here. So uh, yeah, the unlabeled data should go into the apply model, but I still didn't put it here. So I'm going to drag and drop an apply model operator here. And the apply model operator is going to require a trained model, which is going to come from naive bias and an unlabeled data input that will come from my, well, 30% uh, of my original data set. Yeah, we have one more step to go, um, step to implement, that is going to be the classification performance. There. All right, I think we have everything set. I'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so this is the outcome from my apply model. And you see that we have an additional column, which is the prediction. So this is the predicted classes, All right? So most of the time it's, well, it seems correct, but let's go ahead and check the performance to see the, uh, the metrics. So the accuracy is 97.78. And we also have the, um, the confusion matrix here. Okay, so that was it. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and check naive bias that we don't have uh, well any of these parameters that we need to be concerned with. So that's basically it. Naive bias.